you're going to notice that the first thing that is very different um, when you're using an iPad versus a computer is that is this guy. You can't use a mouse on an iPad. I know it's terrible. So instead, we're forced to use our fingers to tap and point and, and navigate our way around an iPad. But today I want to show you how you can use an external keyboard and by learning some really key keyboard shortcuts, how you can quickly navigate your way around an iPad. So let's get started. The way it works is when you hold down your finger on the command key on an external keyboard, it'll bring up a pop-up window with a list of keyboard shortcuts that are available in each app. You see every app has different keyboard commands. So the way you learn them is you simply hold down the command key. Okay, so here we are in the home screen. When I hold down the command key on the home screen, I'm presented with four of them. Let's take a look at some. The first one is uh, go to the home screen, which is command H. So what that means is if I'm in another program and I want to get back to the home screen, I hit command H, H for home, and boom, there you are. I'm in the browser, I want to go back, I'm working, hit command H. Boom, back to the home screen. Okay, see how fast that is? So that's home. I use it all the time and it's a lot faster when your hands are on the keys to do that rather than to reach up and press and hold the big button that's on the iPad to get back to the home page. So the second one is a doozy, You're gonna love it. It's search, okay? So the more apps you put on your iPad, the more difficult it's going to be to try to find them. So instead of pointing and clicking and hunting and pecking around, what you do is you let your fingers do the walking. So you hit the command spacebar key, it brings up a search field. Okay? And you'll notice I can now type what I'm, the app that I'm looking for. And you can see here below that, it shows you the five most recent apps that I've, um, that I've searched or, or used. I'm not quite sure which one. So let's say I want to open up my notes. I can just type, start typing, and their the top hit is the notes. And I can just tap on it, and I can even hit the down arrow key on the keyboard and hit the enter key, and I don't even have to raise my hand on the screen at all. So let's do that again. Space, let's say I want to open up Twitter, boom. Now I did tap the screen this time. Boom, there it is, okay? Command H, back home. Isn't that great? You see how fast you can get around and, and find and do things when you learn keyboard shortcuts? Uh, the next one is, uh, if you're a power user, I, I suppose you'd, you'd be interested in this one, is, is how to take a screenshot. If you're uh, into graphics like I am, um, do any type of uh, IT or computer work, a lot of times you're doing instructional things and, and you need to take a screenshot. So uh, just like a Mac, if you hold down your shift command number three key it takes a screenshot so let's try it shift command three you see that it just took a screenshot if I open up my photos there it is right there okay so screenshots now you know how to do it and the last keyboard shortcut is also a really big one as well and that's how to switch your apps and it's command tab it's the exact same keyboard shortcut you use on a Mac, even a Windows computer. So holding down the Command tab brings up a list of all the most recent apps that you've used. And when you let go, the app comes right up. So you Command tab, switch to Photos, Command tab, switch to Twitter. Isn't that great? So it's a really fast app switching. Okay, so learn these tricks, practice them, memorize them, and you'll find that you're able to navigate really fast your way around an iPad, all with your hands right on the keys without needing a mouse. So here I am in um, the Safari browser, which is the default web browser that comes with every iPad. And I want to show you some of the keyboard shortcuts. You'll notice that when I hold down the command key in this application, I have a different set of keyboard shortcuts. So like I said, every app has a different set of keyboard shortcuts. Some have more than others. So 
just to go over a couple of these, um, we have Command R is a reload a page. What that does is it refreshes a page. And if ever the case you need to refresh a page for whatever reason, you know, you can hit that little swirly arrow up in the right, or the keyboard command is Command R. And now that page is getting refreshed. So that's what that does. So the next one is Find on Page, and it's Command F, F for Find. So if I wanted to look for a specific word on a, on a particular web page, you can hit Command F. And <laughs> I'm going to see the word, uh, I see the word born, make it easy, B-O-R-N. And boom, I started typing and immediately highlighted the word. OK? So you have a search ability. What else can you do? Uh, you can open up another location and open up another go to another website basically so as you know you enter the URLs up here on the top so instead of pointing and clicking when your hands again if your hands are down here on the keyboard you can hit command L and it brings the focus up to the top of the screen where you can type another website <laughs> um, Google there you go okay so what's the next command oh I skipped one and that's the back so if say you want to go back using the back arrow it's right there or again if your hands are already on the keyboard uh, you can do command left bracket command left bracket and right now I'm back to that other website again okay so the next one here is ha oh, this is a really cool one it's show reader what the heck is a reader you might be asking well, if you notice on this particular web page and on many others, um, if you look way on the top here where the URL is normally typed out, if you see these horizontal black lines there, that means that that page has a reader view. And what that does is, um, let's go, let me go to a different page here, I guess. What that does is by tapping on it, what it does is it hides all of the other elements on a web page and it just shows you the contents of a web page it's great I love it because um, it hides all the ads it eliminates all those crazy pop-ups it allows me to read the content really nice and big and clean and simple and that's a toggle so whenever you see those black lines there it's there for a reason you can tap on it so the keyboard shortcut to that little guy is is uh, command shift R R for reader command shift R there it is so it's a toggle I can click on it once to turn it on click on it again to turn it off so it's a really terrific keyboard shortcut and I love it I use it whenever I have the opportunity because I hate looking at ads all right so the next one is a uh, a new tab. So how do you open up a new window? Is Command T. T for tab. Makes sense. Now I can open up a different window. Isn't that great. And if you are a Mac user, you'll notice that a lot of these commands, in fact all of them so far, are exactly the same on a Mac. So if you have already committed those to memory, switching over to an iPad, you're going to find it real easy, and you're going to love that these features are are still available. So. Uh, close tab again command W is a keyboard shortcut on a computer as well as on the iPad okay so hitting control W closes a tab okay, this next trick is really awesome I only recently discovered this again I've only been using this iPad for about six months and um, this blew me away and and that is to do split screen so if I hold down command N like Nancy and for new window what it does is I now have a split screen view and I could view two web pages at the same time Isn't that great so here I am I'm viewing something here and I'm viewing something here all at once so I'm multitasking I love it and one thing I really like to do is uh, I'll show you this cool trick is that I like to bring up uh, the mobile version of some of my social media apps that I use. 
So here is the mobile version of Facebook. And let's go over here and tap on, I here I have a bookmark for the mobile version of Instagram. And I got Instagram going and Facebook on one screen. One other cool tip, bonus, is that, did you know that if you swipe over from the right of the screen, it opens up yet another window and you can open up a second app. And here I'm using Twitter. So now I'm viewing Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all at the same time. How cool is that? Talk about multitasking. So here, uh, the app that comes up here on the right, you can only uh, view it while it's active. When you click here, it hides unless, unless I make this split screen view and view it uh, split screen, then it stays there. However, the split screen on the Safari browser, it'll only show one of the windows until, of course, I close it, and then it brings you back to the way it was before. Okay? So that is really cool. I love being able to multitask. So again, I'm going to hit Command W to close one of these windows. Come on, Bubba. There you go. And we're down to one. And now we have that going for you. So those are some of the keyboard shortcuts. Did I miss any? I think we're pretty good. So again, you could, uh, you could take a look at them on your own. So just one more app I want to quickly show you, uh, keyboard shortcuts that are really great, and that's the email, how to quickly blow through your emails every day. So I use the default email program that comes with the iPad on the minimalist. I like to use, you know, the default apps work fine for me. So here's the mail app. You notice that when you, um, tap on the email on the left, the content displays on the right. So if I tap on here, the email shows up on the right. Okay, so just like on Safari, did I go over the Safari? I forgot to show you the Safari tip. Uh, okay, I'm gonna show you a great tip. Scrolling, okay, this works on the Safari browser and email. So of course you know you can scroll with your finger, but did you know that you can hit the spacebar key and when you do that, it scrolls one screen at a time. If you hold down the shift key and hit the space bar key, it scrolls back up. So again, let me show you that real quick over here in Safari. See that? So you can easily scroll. You can use your finger, the down, up and down arrows, and it'll scroll one line at a time. Okay? So a scrolling tip. So that same tip works over here in email. And I love it. The arrow keys, what that does on an email is it switches over to the next email. Okay, so now I can switch quickly navigate to the next email without again touching the screen and read it. Okay, and the next cool thing with the keyboard is you can delete emails just by hitting the delete key on your keyboard. You just hit it one click and it's gone. I can look at it real fast, hit delete. Take a look at it, hit delete. Okay, as you know, uh, the default way of deleting emails is uh, you can hit the Tap on the trash can that's in the upper right corner of the screen, and you can delete something that way. You can also delete emails by swiping. If you swipe really hard like I just did, it just took the email right out. If you swipe halfway, you get a menu, and you can hit the trash can. And I'll show you one more trick of deleting emails, and that is uh, to delete multiple emails at one shot without opening them. Is you can hit the edit button right there, and it brings up a little radial boxes right in front of the emails and you can click and highlight all the emails that you want to get rid of without ever opening them and just click tap on the trash command that's in the lower right right there and all those emails are gone okay so you can see using your keyboard how really fast and simple it is and great it is to navigate and delete and get to do and do your stuff do what you got to do right from a keyboard Okay, so learn the tricks, learn the shortcuts, guys. Take one and commit it to memory one a day, and before you know it, you'll, you'll be flying with, the, with your iPad. That's all for today. Stay tuned. Next time, I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts in editing documents, such as Microsoft Word and um, uh, Apple's products, pages, and whatever, what have you. So 
So stay tuned, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video if you liked it, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.